Hello, this is Dave Inman with Vista One. Um, today I wanted to take a look at Exinda's new EXOS 6.0 release, um, which is a major improvement on uh, their visibility and metrics. So, uh, here we are on the dashboard. I want to pop first into the Objects tab, which anyone who is familiar with Exinda will know that uh, most reports and policies are built on objects. Um, so a lot of this looks familiar, but some of the places where we've seen some major improvements are here in the Service Levels tab, and this is where I want to get into my main focus for today, which is the Application Quality Score. Um, application Quality Score is a new feature that Exinda has, has built, um, which is based on a number of uh, user-defined variables, uh, and they give the application performance a score of uh, 0 to 10. So uh, here we are. I've defined a few of these: uh, Google Mail, GoToMeeting, HTTP, and Salesforce, all with network delay, server delay. Um, we can also define network jitter, loss, round tip, tr round trip time, um, and and set alerts uh, if we like. Um, all I've done is created network delay and server delay. Uh, how I did that was to come in here at Add New AQS Object, and uh, let's create one here just to, to show you. So uh, I'm going to do an HTTPS object. So I have HTTP already. HTTPS. Uh, I'm going to select application HTTPS. Uh, as far as network objects go, in this case, I'm just going to say that um, all objects, internal and external, using HTTP. Uh, and here's where I start defining what I want to see um, as far as being acceptable or unacceptable for my network. I'm going to stick with just defining network delay and server delay, but obviously you can see here is where if you have concerns about network jitter, network loss, and overall round trip time, you can you can set all that stuff. You can also say that you really want to maintain a certain quality score. So if if an application drops below, you know, a seven or an eight um, on the ten point scale. You need to know that, and you can you can create an alert to uh, to let you know that that happened. Uh, here to keep things simple, I'm going to stick with network delay and server delay. Um, so I'm going to define here, based on what I think has been going on on our network lately, um, 1500 and uh, let's say 300 milliseconds as being acceptable network delay and server delay for my HTTPS traffic. Um, I add this new AQS object. So there it is, HTTPS 1500, 300, uh, none of these other things defined, and uh, I'm ready to roll. Exenda very helpfully reminds me that I have unsaved changes, so I'm going to save my config, and now, um, now that I have my objects defined, I'm going to go look into how my applications are actually performing. Okay, I'm going to look into monitor service levels. Uh, and I've got some application quality data to look at. Um, you can see a few of these that I had already defined that, are, that have been collecting data for a while. I'm just looking at the last five minutes. So uh, here in the last five minutes we see that GoToMeeting is in yellow on these, on these defined characteristics, network and server delay. Um, yellow means that it's it's there or thereabouts. It's not great. Uh, it's an application quality score of 5. My Google Mail has an application quality score of 10. It's nice green there on, on both network and server. Uh, HTTP is 8.94. We've got um, acceptable network delay, unacceptable server delay. So green, red. If, if everything is running smoothly, your applications are green. If things are uh, middling, then they're yellow, um, and if they're performing subpar, uh, then you see these red red blocks. Um, you'll notice that there are numbers here in the jitter column, um, but no no colors. Uh, the colors are not there because I didn't define any acceptable range for jitter. Uh, if I had, these would be colored in the same way that network and server delay are. Uh, likewise, with with loss and round trip time, I left those blank. So I'm getting the reports on that information, but I wasn't concerned about that when defining what my application quality score was. 
So all I want to look at here is um, now that I've seen sort of what my what my scores and my acceptable network and server delays as well as this this jitter and loss information I want to actually take a look at my graph and just drill into a little bit of detail so if I look at just the last couple of minutes here I'm gonna highlight over and see what's been going on so I'm getting a lot of information here about all of these applications um, over the last few minutes and how they are performing uh, minute by minute so um, that's that's the application quality score I think it's a really good improvement on, on Xinda's interface um, and it's going to help a lot in terms of letting you know overall how your network is performing. Um, hope you found this to be helpful and stay tuned for more, uh, more screencasts on the 6.0 release and other new features coming soon.